Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how you can specify the predefined filters within the Google Data Studio chart. So there are two ways by which you can specify a predefined filter on the chart. So for example you have a chart over here which is nothing but for the different customer segment like the corporate, home office, consumer and small business, you have sales and profit. But let's say you want to reduce it for a particular date or for a particular you know, product category, things like those. So in scenarios like those, what you can do is within the data section, you have something here, two different sections. One is the default date range to specify a custom period or a predefined filter period or a filter where you can reduce the chart based on the category like the product category which I mentioned. So let's see one by one. So first is the default date range. So what we can do is instead of auto what we can specify is custom and over here let's reduce this to only 2010 because this contains this data contains value from 2009 to 2012 so here in 2010 i will select in january and first and for the end date i will get the 2010 december and the 31st and click apply so now we have applied this filter over here and then for the rest of the filter which is for the entire dashboard will work on this filter but this will always show the information only for the 2010 period. Now let's see the second example which is the uh, which is saying that you want to filter a bar chart so let's go ahead and click on add filter. So there are a couple of filters which is already are present but you can always go and create the filter like this where you can say give a name um, let's say for example we want furniture category and uh, we want to say include and over here we can search the field product category and we can say equals to an example is furniture and we can specify multiple condition like there is an or condition as well as there is an and condition so based on the requirement of our analysis we can specify that and we click save over here and now if you see furniture is coming over here and all of this chart is now filtered by the furniture for 2010 period so this way you can specify the predefined filter go in the front end mode and then you know make selections based on your earlier filters or your other filters and this all these charts will filter but this particular chart with the help of some title and proper naming you can mention that it is a 2010 furniture chart for the various customer segments and this way you can you can get the desired result by specifying the predefined filter in your chart so that's very quickly I wanted to show you how you can specify predefined filters. I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.